Jack Gensler here from Serviceside. Give you a quick uh, background on this hunt. It's the second day of West Virginia archery season. I only got a few days to hunt before I'm moving down south and will no longer be a resident of West Virginia. I decided to hunt this small parcel of ground that I haven't hunted for years that I cut my teeth learning to bow hunt growing up with my father, which is now deceased. Um, the trophy potential is just not there. I haven't hunted it in years, but decide that I want to take a doe and I mean I'm excited because I wanted to get one down before I move out of the state and I encounter obstacles from everything from setting this stand up to film to the cutting the shooting lanes to my road road mic uh, mount breaking um, have to retune my bow the day before next morning I come out for the hunt a bow hanger that I've been using for half a decade I had broke and my bow fell six feet to the ground. I'm out in the headlights, take a 20 yard practice shot, dead on, okay, we're in business. Get up in the stand, get set up. Right after daylight, don't even have time to do an interview, dough starts coming in. Get set up, got this small little window to shoot through. Let go, felt solid, felt real good. Shot right underneath of her. I immediately think, my uh the fall that my bow took must have knocked it off because that felt super super solid so i start to pack stuff up i do a quick inspection of my bow and notice that i have my pin set on 20 yards from that practice shot earlier that morning i hunt with it on 25 yards um the doe was 28 yards i shot i shot for 30 uh thinking i was set on 25 yard pin Never been burned by with hunting with a single pin sight before. Heard the stories, never happened to me. Well, guess what? Now that happened. The good news was the hunt was still on and I was getting covered up in deer. I'm seeing deer feeding in the brush. Something spooks these deer. They start coming down towards me. Things get real interesting. Um, this was a super symbolic hunt to me. Um, felt my dad's spirit with me. Um, definitely one of the most symbolic bucks I ever shot. Definitely not the biggest, but definitely, absolutely just proud of this hunt and glad that I was able to punch a tag before I moved down south. So I hope you guys enjoy.
just wanted to replay the footage. And I don't know if when I hit the record button on my very Zoom remote, if I didn't hit it hard enough or I didn't hit it at all. I'm not sure. But I did not get this on my main camera. Devastating. So I, I took a look at my GoPro footage. I couldn't tell where I hit, but I could, def I, I could definitely hear I hit solid. first morning here in uh, West Virginia. It's been an hour since I shot that buck. I'm going to climb down, check the arrow, and then I'm going to back out, go back to the house, review the footage, then go from there. Um, happened really fast. Tough shot angle. Um, but hoping for the best. Three quarters of a mile swallowing specks on my knees for hours. Finally recovered the arrow. I sure hope he opens up now with this arrows out of him. I'm getting a little worried that I'm not going to find this one. There he is. There he is. He's down. Oh, yeah. Let's go get a look. What a hunt. Recovered finally. I'll tell you what, anybody that says whitetail deer and resilient don't know what they're talking about. This was a mile track job. One mile. Unbelievable. Honestly, I, I lost the trail so many times that I was following specs. Getting hot. Got to get them out of here. This hunt's been brought to you by Serviceside Deer Slayer TV. Thanks for tuning in, guys.